Yo, what's going on out there in them digital streets? This your player partner Watt checking in, and this is the Dropbox, and let's get into it. Yeah, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this topic. Yeah, so if you've been paying attention to what's been happening over the past couple of hours, um, good brother Tariq Nasheed posted a, um, a tweet um, in response to uh, Jason Reed. And if you can read the touch language, <laughs> it's just for the tribe, man. And yeah, so I know a lot of people out there within the uh, community, man, they're wondering what happened or how this happened. And on the screen right now, I am showing you um, pictures of the um, exchange that happened on Facebook. So in this first picture right here, it's a post from Mona Lachey. Now, I know a lot of you all uh, will remember her from the broadcast that she used to do with Jason Black back in the day, man. But to kind of make a long story short, this thread was going on and Jason Reed jumped in it and that's when she just went left him and his wife they were in the thread just being reckless and that leads us to where we are today um i want to point out something else that a lot of people didn't pay that may have not noticed but when it comes to this original post man if you really want to see who the haters are just be successful i swear to god that shit brings the hate out of any nigga anytime you actually set out to accomplish something that you do it that's when the hate is shown and that's what this um post from mona lachey shows us it's like some supreme hater shit and it's nothing anybody can say to justify or vouch for that and it's one of those things where and if you pay attention to the um the content that i've been putting up i actually did a video on the uh, hidden history museum and i and i highlighted how it is empowerment i mean when this building is uh when this museum is created that's going to give black people jobs so like Tariq said he wanted to do a um he wanted to teach the tut language as long as a black person is in there teaching tut to bl other black people that's empowerment that's a job for someone and not only that but when you talk about security for events as long as there's black people there securing these events securing the museum itself that's a job for someone um i know he said he's going to have a film room as long as black filmmakers are coming there to premiere their movies for a black audience that's a job for someone it's a job for a lot of people and just um maintaining that upkeep in the museum is a job and as long as a black person is doing said job it's empowerment for black people now i want to say something so that um we're all clear here one building doesn't save the um the, the entire black community you know one business doesn't do it but what this one business does show is that we are able to come together as a community crowdfund and get necessary funds to get what we need done for ourselves and the question is to a lot of people that have discrepancies with the crowdfunding and just issues with Tariq in general, my question to you is just simply, um, where is your crowdfunding? What business or idea do you have for your community that you want us to get behind and support that empowers the community? And I honestly believe that, you know, this push to get that crowdfunding through and actually accomplishing that goal, man, it separates the real from the fake. You know, a lot of people talk this game, but nobody's actually, very few people are actually hitting the ground and doing what they say they do. You know, very few people. Yeah, and I, I want to end the video on this note. Um, There are receipts on the screen. Yeah, man. And not only that, but this chick, Mona Lachey, has been kind of going off on some weird tangent for the last past couple of days. She was talking crazy about the tut language. And it's like, man, some kids on TikTok discovered this shit and they're using it to talk to each other and, you know, trying to kind of form an identity for themselves. I mean, these are literal kids on TikTok, even though it's here some grown niggas on there. I mean, hey, look, I don't know what to say about a uh, nigga um in their 20s or 30s on the internet doing the uh cranking that soldier boy <laughs> 
But yeah, man, ooh, another thing too before I get up out of here. That shit was funny as fuck. When Tariq called him a fuck boy in the tech language. Hilarious. Oh, man. But what say you, man? Come kick it with your tribe in the comment section below. And on that note, I'm out the box with it. Do you hear me?